Hey, Eco. What are you doing? Are you getting ready for a party? Yes, my owl friend is visiting today. He's a hoot. What are you cooking? Mashed potatoes, tacos, pizza, steak, broccoli, corn on the cob. You know, Eco, I don't know that owls eat a lot of steak and corn on the cob. Then what do owls eat? My friend will be here soon. Well, do you have your holodeck? I can show you what owls eat. It all starts with the sun. What? Owls can eat the sun? It is so hot. No, plants use the energy from the sun, along with water, air, and nutrients from the soil to make their own food so they can grow. Plants, like corn on the cob, can produce their own food using the energy from the sun? Yep, they're producers. Animals can't produce their own food, so they consume plants to get the energy they need to live. They're called consumers. See? Owls eat corn on the cob! Not quite. Small animals, like mice, eat the corn. Wait, so if mice eat the corn, does that mean that owls eat the... That's correct. This is called a food chain, the flow of energy from one organism to another. The corn uses the sun's energy for food, the mouse eats the corn, and the owl eats the mouse. Wow, a food chain! So the mice need the corn and plants for food, and the owl needs the mice for food? Correct. This is called interdependence. Ah, this only happens on the 4th of July? Interdependence Day? <laughs> no, Eco. Interdependence is how animals and plants depend on living things to survive and grow. I think this is starting to make sense. Eco, we just talked about this. What are you doing now? All this talk of food chains and interdependence has made me hungry. You know what? Me too.